Hey guys, I was on one of the forums recently and one of the discussions was what do people do when their power goes out? And I made mention of the fact that I have I had an interlock switch installed. And a few of the people, actually quite a few of the people, didn't know what an interlock switch was. So they asked me to post a picture. But then I thought rather than post a picture, I should just do a video of it and explain what an interlock switch is, what it does, and why it's critical for people to have one. Now basically what happens is, I have a generator. Okay, so my generator is plugged in. Let me show you a picture of the outlet there where I plug my generator in. And this thing here. I have a special cable that plugs right into that. Okay, and then that is tied into, back over here, into the switch. Okay, so now the cable plugs into that. And then that is run into this patch panel. Okay, right here where it says generator. This switch here is what runs the house when the generator is on. So when I flip the switch here, the generator is putting juice through the panel. Now what, ha what you have to do though is this main switch has to be turned off. Okay, and this is the this is the main feed from the power pole. Okay, so what you don't want to do is turn the generator on and have that main switch on because if there's somebody working on the power lines, you could conceivably fry them because the power would go through the line. So when you kill this main switch, it severs the tie between the power pole at the service and my house. So what you have to do is turn the main power up. Now there are some people that say, well, okay, what I'll do is I'll just install this, put the generator on a switch, and then flip the main power off, then turn the generator on. Well, the problem with that is you might forget. And if you forget, there's serious consequences. So let me show you what the interlock switch is. This here is the interlock switch. You'll notice this peg here on it. I can't turn the generator on. So what I have to do is I have to pop the main off so that I can push the, the interlock switch up. So this has to come off. The interlock switch goes up. It allows me to turn the generator on. So there's no way I can turn the generator on without turning the main off. And that's what this switch does. Now I had a certified electrician install this for me. He installed the interlock switch and the power outlet over there where I plugged my generator in. He did all that for me. And it cost me about 600 bucks. But it's money well spent. Because when the power goes out, I flip this off, pull the interlock switch up, turn the generator on, and it's like I never lost power. I have an 8500 watt generator, so I can run pretty much the whole house. The only thing that I have trouble with is running, like, our well, our central air, we don't worry about that. I have a wood stove for the heat, uh, running the well, which is a 220, running the uh, clothes dryer is 220, and running the hot water tank is... There's a lot of draw on that. So you only have to be careful. If you don't have a big enough generator, you just have to be a little careful on all the things that you run. But we have no problems. I just, I mean, I just, if I'm going to run the, the clothes dryer, I flip the well off. And, you know, it's, you just got to play with it a little bit if you don't have a big enough generator. But anyways, this is how the interlock switch works. And it works wonderfully. I mean, this is, this is a lifesaver. Whenever the power goes out now, I just flip on the generator. And, I mean, we've, we've had power go out. I mean, it's rare that it goes out a long time it's usually only out for a day but we have had it out for a week before and so this is this is just saved our bacon so this is what an interlock switch is and I just recommend it highly uh, I even had the electrician order the correct switch and so it's UL certified it's not just some cheap one that I got off the internet so he did all of this installed it and and got it all up and running money well spent so there's the interlock switch and that's what it's all about so anyways thanks for watching guys we'll catch you later